Uh, Mr. Carey, um, w tell us exactly what your position was and your, I mean, your, your rank and all and what you did. In I was, uh, I was a lieutenant junior grade mm -hmm. and I was in command of a twin screw 50-foot uh, uh, aluminum hull patrol boat called a patrol craft fast. Yeah. It's a, uh, a ancestor, really, of the PT boat of World War II more mm -hmm. than anything else. And our duties ranged. Initially, when I went to Vietnam, I thought, frankly, that I wouldn't see that much war. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to surveil the coast for interdiction of arms. And about two weeks after, well, about two weeks before I got there, the concept changed. They started sending us in the rivers, rivers which really weren't much wider than this studio. And uh, we went on raids up these rivers mm -hmm. with orders to fire on huts and, and any target of opportunity in order to prove to the Viet Cong that they didn't own the rivers. And this was the essential strategy. And you got some film of that? Yes, I do. I took some 8mm Super 8 film. Uh, you took the film yourself. Well, I took we, it myself. Can we run that and yeah. you tell us what, what is happening? Uh, some monitor. You'll, you'll find a monitor. There's Where do one I find there. a monitor? Oh. oh yeah. Well, these are shots. Uh, right now you see a bunker being taken under fire. In fact, we're, we're under fire at this point, and you can see some shots coming out, landing in the water. We're moving in one of the rivers. This is a larger river in the Mekong Delta called the Kualan River. We came under fire uh, on our way to a mission. The boats were in line. You see them. We're just out of the kill zone, the area in which uh, we could really be hit. Mm -hmm. And now we've recommenced. We're starting up another river. And we had about 30 Vietnamese troops on the back here of the boats, so our speed was slowed way down. And just after this, I put the camera down. I had a feeling we were going to be ambushed. And sure enough, up ahead, we were, and you'll see it. You see across the river there, uh, fish stakes, which were a great impediment to our progress. We had to stop completely. You can see the speed we were going. And what happened was we were taken under fire, and I felt we didn't have enough speed to get out of this area because of the troops on the back of the boat. So uh, to try and save the men and the troops on the boat, I decided the best thing to do was charge the ambush. And we turned the boats towards the ambush, went straight into it and beached, and succeeded somehow, and frankly, I never know how, in overrunning the ambush. And after the initial action, I wanted to record this because this had never really happened to us before. And so I took these pictures in a moment of, of confusion, modern-day John Wayne there. And it was really a very tragic scene, because after all the hurly-burly and after the fighting and the shooting, uh, there was nothing left once we withdrew. And it struck me, and I think you'll see this scene in a moment. Now you see smoke blowing across with a, one of the men had gone up, I don't know why or who, but he set fire to the huts that were there and they'd found some enemy ammunition in it. And I was constantly struck by the juxtaposition of those of us running around with guns and the body lying there in the field. And there you see the huts burning and this, this is the enemy, so to speak, in South Vietnam. Mm -hmm. This is a soldier who insisted on being, uh, having his picture taken with the body. This is general confusion here. How do you... Now, I think there's a picture as it ends. You see the field completely empty and the body just lying there. And this is what I was so frankly continually struck by.